Bridging the divide over job access, income, and housing, especially in Dallas, there's a new effort to help students at one school. CBS 11's Steve Pickett live tonight at Paul Quinn College in South Oak Cliff with the story that's all new tonight at 5 o'clock. Brooke, about 500 students attend this historically black college here in Dallas. And for many of them, accessibility to life in corporate America and jobs in corporate America, well, it starts with a drive to Plano. The Plano corporate campus for finance and banking giant J.P. Morgan Chase is not a world away from Southern Dallas-based Paul Quinn College. I don't have a family that comes from corporate America. But students Evelina Rosario, Lucia Bro Evans, and Aiden Jamana make a 32-mile trek here to shorten a path of opportunity for themselves and for companies like Chase. We are being given opportunities and we are helping them out just as much as they're helping us. I have the privilege to say that my challenges that I undergo is having too much on my plate. These students are now employees via the school's Urban Work College campaign. Paul Quinn College President Michael Sorrell. It's hard for people to become things that they've never seen. So what the, at its core, what the Urban Work College does is get students off of campus into companies. The bank's effort to expand career opportunities for minority college graduates includes a national outreach to add 4,000 African Americans to the Chase workforce. It gives people the art of the possible. They get exposure to a wide array of our businesses, our people. 22 Paul Quinn students have jobs now on the Chase Plano campus. The success of these students' work could bridge opportunity for others. We're able to put ourselves out there and say that we are talent and that we are prepared and that we're ready to work and all we just need is an opportunity to show ourselves off. Uh, and by the way, uh, Paul Quinn has a Plano campus, so not all of those students have to come from their main campus. They actually are now living, working, and attending school right there in Plano. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.